viewers the latest news about ethiopia tigray afar and eritrea is that viewers according to the latest reports received from several sources heavy fighting is ongoing in western tigray and afar region and according to the ongoing fighting in the afar region i have already informed you in many previous videos and according to the reports that are still being received fighting is spread between afar forces its allies and tigray defense force in afar zone 4 and according to reports heavy fighting is still going on in several areas of afar region like maglale irbati and surrounding areas of birhale viewers eritrean army play a key role in the fighting between afar forces and tigray defense force and eritrea runs three military camps inside afar state to train coalition of anti tigray forces and fano militias and eritrea using afar forces to wage war on tigray just as it is supporting amhara state forces to keep war momentum in volket and reports also receiving that heavy fighting is going on between amhara forces its allies and tigray defense force in western tigray viewers ethiopian government really ready to participate in a genuine national dialogue and negotiate a deal that would bring sustainable peace to the country since their most recent victory against tigray defense force ethiopian officials repeatedly made it clear that the tigray people liberation front and the romo liberation army an armed group the federal military has been fighting against in the oromia region since late 2018 would not be included in any future national dialogue and when several mps objected to the commission for national dialogues establishment proclamation claiming that it lays the ground for negotiation with the tigray people's liberation front and oromo liberation army for example the legal and administrative affairs committee chair claimed that the proclamation is not at all about negotiations she warned about misrepresenting the purpose of the initiative and insisted that there is no article or word in the document about negotiations but what is the purpose of a national dialogue that does not involve any negotiation between warring sides in theory national dialogues are supposed to be inclusive broad and participatory official negotiation platforms that aim to resolve deep rooted political crises and conflicts and lead countries into political transition according to the united nations national dialogues typically involve principal national elites including the government and the largest opposition parties and occasionally the military other groups who participate include those representing wider constituencies such as civil society women youth business and religious or traditional actors and the wider population is often indirectly included through broader conciliation processes it is impossible to define the process currently underway in ethiopia as a genuine national dialogue by excluding the tigray people liberation front and romo liberation army from the so called national dialogue and the base government made it clear that its aim is not to achieve sustainable peace and to lead the country into a negotiated political transition but to achieve a series of short term objectives and the primary object of a base national dialogue agenda appears to be easing the mounting diplomatic pressure on his government and since the beginning of ethiopia's war in november 2020 the international community has been calling for an inclusive national dialogue 
to end the deadly conflict. And these calls fell on deep ears for month. But recently, concrete measures taken particularly by the United States against a base government have led to economic and diplomatic tremors in Addis Ababa by establishing a commission for national dialogue, which does not even have the mandate to initiate negotiation between warring parties. And Abe is now trying to create the false impression that he is doing something to end the violence to convince the US to lift its sanctions against his government. And the second goal of the purposed dialogue is to buy time for military preparation in anticipation of deepening civil war. And sources in Abe's prosperity party allege that in the last couple of months alone, tens of thousands of youths have been conscripted into the federal military and are currently being trained in camps across the country. And before that, Abe had personally called on common citizens to take up arms against the Tigray Defense Force. And a government preparing to enter into a genuine national dialogue and to end all violence would not have any reason to hardly train scores of new soldiers. And the national dialogue process therefore appears to be a ploy by the government to buy time to prepare its military to launch another attack on its on the Tigray Defense Force and perhaps the most important goal of a base national dialogue to use is to deceive the Ethiopian people and increase the legitimacy of his government in their eyes. And with this initiative, Abe is signaling that he is consulting all legitimate power groups in Ethiopia as he moves forward with his vision for the country. And of course, Without the inclusion of the Tigray People Liberation Front, Roma Liberation Army and other democratic forces such as Kiro, the Roma youth that propelled Abe to power, his purposed national dialogue can be nothing but a tactical gimmick. And the Abe administration started drafting a new constitution that will reconfigure identities and regional boundaries some two years ago. And long before the beginning of this war, I am aware of this because I was once a senior member of the Romeo State Administration. The Abe administration will likely use the purposed national dialogue to create the illusion that there is a wide spread and inform support for this new constitution. After all, those who have the strongest opposition to Abe's vision for Ethiopia and thus his constitutional plans are conventionally left out of this conservation, according to a senior journalist. And Ethiopia is undoubtedly experiencing a national crisis. However, an inclusive, broad and participatory negotiation platform can still produce a peace deal that will bring back stability and prosperity to the country. And unfortunately, a base so-called Commission for National Dialogue cannot provide such a platform. We were, on the other hand, the Eritrean military has been involved in the war in Ethiopia's Tigray region since the conflict broke out in November 2020. And Eritrea shares a 1,000 km border with Ethiopia, including with Tigray. And it sent thousands of soldiers in support of the Ethiopian federal forces in their operations against the Tigray People's Liberation Front. And the actions have both prolonged and worsened the hugely destructive conflict. And Eritrea's involvement also has wider implications. It represents an attempt by Asmara to reassert itself on the regional stage and following two decades of relative diplomatic isolation. So viewers, so far is the latest update. For more latest update, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.